it has happened. Supposedly. Supposedly. <sighs> the first part of the equation has arrived. Oh, it is two. It's three. It's three twelve in the morning. Good morning, everybody. I need coffee, but all I got is yesterday's soda. Something pretty credible, incredible happened. I've been working with a company called AA Crane out of Europe, and uh, along with Six Pence EV, and they're, they're kind of a sister company. And uh, I think they cracked the code. They cracked the code for Nissan Leaf. My second part, my second adapter part should be arriving today or tomorrow. The first part arrived today and I just showed that to you. It is a CCS to Tesla adapter that talks to the CCS1 to Chatamo adapter that goes into your car. And supposedly the firmware and the software update and everything, they cracked the code supposedly. They cracked the code. They sent me that. And they're replacing the adapter that I messed up on uh, attempting my road trip. And um, it looks like it, it's, it's happening. It looks like the Nissan Leaf will be charging at Tesla Superchargers. We, we, we have to wait and see. Right, let, let's, let's hope that the other adapter comes today. Well, it is another day and the other package is supposed to arrive, but the post office has not sent anything today. And they they delivered mail, but no package. And I asked, and they said, no, we only do one stop a day, so it's not here again yet. Let's, might as well go back to work. Well, like I said, rumor has it, the adapter is here. So I'm going to grab a good breakfast after a day's work and head back to the yard and the second half of the equation is here so i'm going to go pick it up do an unboxing show you how everything gets put together and then in the next video i think we're going to head to a tesla supercharger well it's probably best to make sure that all the software works so i might go to an electrify america or a charge point first test out the ccs uh, to uh, chatamo then Maybe hit a Wawa gas station or something that has a Tesla supercharger in there. Then go for the attempt. Don't know how I'm going to work this out. I'm just, I just want to make sure it works. Supposedly, we'll see how the software works on the Tesla. We're, if not, I'm going to grab some data, send it back, and get that firmware and that code created. So we can use Tesla superchargers here in the United States at 42 cents a kilowatt hour. I know, I know expensive in my almost 60 years of life i don't think i've ever found a better cereal than golden grams if you think there's a better cereal than golden grams leave it in the comments below this stuff is just tasty oh my god guess what it came now i got the one adapter and well i'll show you what's in here in a second it's a little bit different than the test unit that i've been using and uh, yeah, let's head over to a charger because I'll show you the differences. Well, I can't show you the other differences because this is the newest, this is the commercial. This is the one that you guys purchase. CCS one to Chatamo or adapter, or it's, it's the regular adapter that I've been out testing, but it's not the testing, it's, it's the actual consumer version with all the firmware and software and everything installed already. But there, I noticed a couple changes and I'll let you guys see them once I get over to the charger. I need to make sure this thing works before I even attempt going to a Tesla supercharger. Anyway, I, I, I'm excited. Oh my gosh, this is really cool. Actually, let's go ahead and do an unboxing from inside the car before I even head to the charger because I'd like that to be a whole video of showing this new adapter working at a CCS1, fingers crossed that it has all the firmware inside of it for here in the United States ready to go. But let me show you exactly how to how this is all gonna work when I eventually do get to the Tesla supercharger. 
first off, let me show you the differences, or I gotta explain the differences. Okay, so as I take this out of the bag, there's all the basic stuff is in here. The splitter to be able to uh, do the updates, you know, to connect to the computer. So we got that. And then also inside the bag, we have the cigarette lighter to uh, come and catch it. Hide my face. There we go. That's a cigarette lighter, the 12 volt, to uh, charge up the capacitor that is inside. But then, oh, here we go, here we go. Then we have the adapter itself. The difference between uh, the other adapter is everything is black. It, it, it's a test unit, so things were black. This here is more, it's more professional looking. It's more for the consumer. It's a nice all gray for the CCS port really well built as normal um the inside here uh the tips are all nice and black where the other one is all like coppery the test unit that i had it was the test unit i had was like uh, or that i still have that i need to mail off back to them tomorrow that broke um was a little bit thicker and more solid looking inside you know because it, we needed it for testing so uh, this one here, it's like, it's more professional looking, nice all black tips here in the, in the, in the uh, DC portion of the thing. The 1772 portion looks the same as the test unit. It's all really strong looking and it's just a lot more cleaner. This, this thing looks a lot more cleaner. Though the test unit has traveled all around the world. Patrick used it like in Africa and Europe and, the United States so it, it, it had a lot of miles on it this one here probably doesn't and when you take off the Chatamo portion you can see the same thing the connectors for the the the, the DC portion uh, are black and clean and they it looks like they put some nice uh, it's a lot more sturdy and strong inside and more professional looking and uh, yeah, it's still a really hard plastic because there's a lot of uh, amps going through this thing. The lock itself, uh, I know I know the camera's focused on my face. I'm sorry if I guess I can hide my face. There it goes. You can see the lock, locking mechanism for it, where it plugs and unplugs out of your car works really well and goes down to the proper depth to be able to unplug it from your car all by this button there is no power button obviously you know to turn on and off like the long good one I had because it has a capacitor inside and I don't believe it has a battery which makes it easy for taking on airplanes because there's no there might be a battery in here I I'm not exactly sure I didn't break the case on the test unit and I'm not going to break the case on this one but from my understanding it's a capacitor that is like a battery but you have to juice it up sometimes just to get juice into it to be able to talk to the computer inside I'm, or something. I don't know. I'm not a tech person like that. This thing, it it's, does still have a USB type C here at the bottom. Oh, come here. That uh, you can use to extract data from or use for data and also for charging putting juice in or also the 12 volt would plug in there from your cigarette lighter if you need to add a little bit of juice or you don't even need to do that if you have a cell phone battery external battery to charge your cell phone you can use that too now this is how it's going to work they sent me this unit here which is a ccs1 charge port to a tesla so let's open that up. They sent this one too. And I'm assuming since my girlfriend had a Chevy Bolt that had CCS1, but it got totaled about two weeks ago. So she went and got a Kia EV6. I'm assuming she would be able to use this in her car to charge that a Tesla supercharger also. Cause it looks like a standard, this looks like a, a standard, what Ford and Chevy and everybody is sending out. You got the, CCS 
to next. So what you're supposed to do is put this in your in your Nissan Leaf, then you would, oh, it goes this way. Then you would plug, no, yeah, you would plug that in. Then so it extends that adapter a little bit, right? So you got this in your car, now you got CC, or now you got Tesla. See what I mean? Look at that. So you got this whole big unit. Then what you would do, let's pretend this is the supercharger. We got the supercharger right here. We're going to plug it in. Or, you know, so, whoa, how does this work? So, yeah, so we're just looking at this end because this is actually an adapter for a 1772 that I have. So let's pretend there's a cable here, but we got the supercharger and we're gonna plug it in. How does it work? I've never used one of these. Oh, you can't because this is an adapter. So the Tesla would actually plug into here. <laughs> okay, I thought I was gonna shoot something else, but you would hook your supercharger plug into that end. I was gonna just put charger or adapter after adapter after adapter into this thing. But no, you would just hook the supercharger to the end of that. Now, my issue is this unit here is already really heavy. So that's plugged into the car. Then you're plugging another adapter onto this adapter, which makes it even a little bit more weighty. This thing weighs a lot. Luckily, the supercharger cables that would plug into here, the NAX cable is really light. So it's not gonna add really any more weight to it. But this itself is a pretty hefty unit. What I would like to see because I know, I know uh, AA Crane and Sixpence EV, which are sister companies that uh, are sending me this stuff, are probably gonna watch this video and other videos as I test. What I would like to see, let, let, me, let me explain what I'm talking about here. This is, this is an issue I see. Okay, let's say you have a cell phone. And over the years, you, we have been plugging cell, you know, cords. I mean, I use, even on my Samsung, I use um, CCS. So like, you're, you know, but I use wireless a lot of times, wireless charging, Qi charging. But in those instances, instances where you do plug in often, like you, you're unplugging, plugging, plugging in, charging, unplugging, plugging into charge, unplugging, and different, different scenarios where this might be on a car mount or on your kitchen table. Over time, inside your CCS port, it loosens up. You know, even this Samsung Fold, the Fold, you know, modern day phones, um, they get loose eventually from plugging and unplugging, plugging and unplugging because, you know, different angles and the weight of the cable and stuff like it starts to loosen up over time. My issue is I think that would happen in the car. So you lift up your carport, you plug this in, there's a lot of weight on it, pulling down on the Chatamo. Over time, you would think that in your car, that's putting a lot of stress on your charge port. What I would like to see is an adapter, if the adapters are gonna stay this heavy and this size until technology starts to shrink these down a little bit, what I would like to see is, you know, the phone cases that you have where you, that has like a little kickstand on it that you can flop down and then pop up, set on a table or something like that. If you could do something like that, like have a little swiveling thing here that uh, would pop down a little bit and rest maybe out of rubber, you know, have a rubber foot on the end of it so it doesn't scratch your paint, but it would flop down and rest against your car to allevi alleviate some of the weight. So it's not putting so much pressure on your charge port. I would like to see that added to this, but I am really excited. I am gonna go make sure that the Chatamo works first. I'm gonna run over to an Electrify America right now and uh, make sure that the software is working. And then in my next video, I'm going to go ahead and show that that this thing is working properly 
and I'm going to go to a Tesla supercharger and test out this adapter on the end of the Chatamo and uh, see if that works. And if not, try and get, uh, get some information off the Tesla charger, send it in so they can create some firmware real fast that I can install into it to make sure it does work here in the United States because I know it does work in Europe right now, but that's a whole different setup between what Europe has and what the United States has. So we're gonna, we're gonna get this thing working, hopefully get the firmware into it if it's not already in there, because this here, this long unit is gonna be a game changer. Oh, look at that. That is, that, because this is a mechanical lock like that. Oh man, that is in there tight. But it, it does come out. Yeah, so this is another adapter that they create. So if you have like a Ford, Chevy, or whatever, and you need an adapter other than the ones that you can buy on Amazon, um, I'm going to do a separate review on this because uh, this might be something, if you don't drive a Nissan and you do drive a Ford or a Chevy or something, you need an inexpensive, strong adapter, which this one here is pretty professional too. It is CE rated. I'll do a review on this separate, but uh, it's nice to know that you can have add-ons, an adapter to an adapter or an adapter to an adapter and be able to charge your Nissan, you know, through a Tesla. But also if you have a CCS port in your car already, you'd be able to plug that in, plug the NACs into this and charge also because there's so many options out there. This has another button here. Oh, I didn't notice this. It has a... So when this is in your car, you can lock it so it's not going to just fall out of your car. Also, it has a separate lock that locks the Tesla adapter or the Tesla cable into the car. While this locks into the Chatamo adapter this one here so that's kind of nice so there's redundancy for both ends i like that yeah i don't know what this is going for i'll get the cost i know it's it's over 100 bucks i'm sure obviously it's it's got a lot it's got electronics inside here but i'll do a separate review on this later i'm going to go ahead and end this video i'm going to run over to a chatamo or a, a ccs uh, charger real fast make sure this works in the Nissan. And then once I find out my next video, um, I'll be showing me plug testing this out. And then also a video of going to use a supercharger. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited. Everything came. I got everything I need for the Nissan Leaf. Nah, life is good. Man, it's just adapter after adapter after adapter. I mean, to keep these cars going, we're gonna need some adapters, obviously. And I got them all ready to go. Until the next time, thanks for tuning in. And uh, it's time to get out there and do some testing. Let you guys know how this stuff works. Because, uh, like I said, the Nissan Leaf does not need to go in the trash just yet. This is going to help us go for years and years and years. Peace, everybody. Oh, by the way, if you want any of these, except for this one. This is Ele uh, Electron. Uh, yeah, Electron makes this one. Nope, I'm gonna keep, I hope it's focused. I can't see, I have to hide behind my adapter. But Electron makes this one. AA Crane and Six Pence EV make these two. So these are the two that I'm focusing on. Electron, everybody knows about them. I want everybody to know about these. Description will be in the links below. Peace, everybody.